Well, fans are in for a super weekend. There are many Super Bowl related events kicking off tomorrow. Right now, crews are setting up at Pier 50 for the Macy's fireworks show tomorrow night. They're loading thousands of fireworks on for the celebration. And here is a rundown of what you can expect for tomorrow. The NFL experience at Moscone Center that opens at 10 a.m. Tickets start at 25 bucks and then at 11 Super Bowl City opens at the foot of Market Street. It is free to get in after 7 p.m. It's the official relighting of the Bay Bridge lights, fireworks, and a performance by the Bay Area's own Chris Isaac. We have all the details and tickets online at abc7news.com. And with so much going on, BART is gearing up for a crush of riders. ABC7 News reporter Amy Hollyfield has more. Chris Isaac will be performing on stage for free tomorrow night. Just one reason that Bart thinks it will be one of its biggest days in all of these Super Bowl festivities. So one of many tests for the transit agency. BART officials think they will carry about 35,000 more people a day during Super Bowl festivities, which has some riders feeling a bit worried. Just because it's crowded on a normal basis, like without the influx of people coming in from Denver or Carolina or wherever they're coming from, I'm kind of nervous for my morning commute. Walking through BART's lobby, there are no special signs to help guide Super Bowl visitors, and there were a few train breakdowns this week. But BART officials say, don't worry. We have a 14-page operation plan that just was finalized yesterday so we feel we're very ready. They have done all non-essential maintenance on trains so they are all ready to roll and they plan to stage equipment and crews along the lines in case there is a breakdown. We'll have special event trains for you know the end of some of those concerts and we'll have extra trains in case there is a mechanical breakdown somewhere along the line. Advice for you includes buying round trip tickets. You can avoid lines at the stations or bring a clipper card and avoid BART parking lots. They are expected to be full. Get dropped off or ride your bike instead. If you see a confused visitor, guide them to the BART volunteers who will be at the stations. People who are engineers, accountants, they'll be out there in yellow vests helping people get where they need to go. They've even gotten into the spirit of things with commemorative clipper cards that have the Super Bowl logo. Some riders tell us it's not BART they are worried about. I think that BART can handle it. I don't know if the people can handle it. BART officials do want to remind you the service hours are staying the same, so they close at midnight on Saturday night. So if you're going to Chris Isaac tomorrow night or next Saturday night with Alicia Keys here and Metallica playing at AT&T Park, remember, no trains after midnight. In San Francisco, Amy Hollyfield, ABC7 News. All right, so Amy says BART hours are staying the same, but Muni's schedule is changing a little bit. Yeah, Muni's trying to make it a little easier to get around in Super Bowl City during this period. Muni Subway Night Service is available once again to help with the influx of people. It's been closing every night at 930 for the past six months for crews to install a new communication system. But through the Super Bowl, Muni trains will now run from 5 a.m. until 1 the next morning. Meanwhile, right now, a major security operation is underway to protect Super Bowl fans and events from attacks. The FBI is working with local, state and other federal agencies at a command center near Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The exact location is a secret to the public. ABC 7 News was there as agents activated the 24 hour, seven day a week operation yesterday. SWAT teams will be on standby, ready to respond, along with up to 90 bomb sniffing dogs. The two teams set to duke it out in Super Bowl 50 will arrive in the Bay Area on Sunday. The AFC champion Denver Broncos and NFC champion Carolina Panthers will both fly into Mineta San Jose International Airport. The Panthers will stay in San Jose at the Marriott and will practice at San Jose State University. The Broncos will stay at the Santa Clara Marriott. They're going to be practicing at Stanford University. And as Super Bowl events get underway, count on ABC7 News to keep you in the know from transportation to security, everything. Download the ABC7 News app, enable push alerts,